Alright, so, new year, new you. You got it, Tiger. What's up, people? Happy New Year, and welcome to 2017. Also, welcome back to ADD on video. I'm getting on my buddy's case about the logo. I swear, it's really coming. We're working on it. We're having a mind debate. So how's 2017 going so far for you? Good? Not so bad? How was your New Year's Eve? Did you have a good party? Did you have a good time? Good. Glad to hear it. Now here's what I really want to know. Did you make any resolutions for New Year's? And if so, what are they? Because here's the thing. I hate resolutions. I think they're just ridiculous. Everybody says the same things year in and year out. But here's why I really hate New Year's resolutions. It's because people pick this really arbitrary day and say, this is the day. I'm going to start working towards this amazing goal that I have. It's going to completely change my life. Like, people think that January 1st is the super magical day when the whole world resets itself and everything starts fresh and you get a fresh start. But the truth is that doesn't really happen. January 1st is just another day. This year it happened to be a Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. But seriously though, everybody picks this first day of January and they say, this is the day I'm going to start doing things. But it really doesn't mean anything because unless you're truly ready to start making these big transformations that you talk about, January 1st is just a day. And I hate to break it to you, but most of you are going to fail your resolutions before the end of January. I don't want to be the negative person. I highly encourage you stick with your goals. Get through them. You're going to do it. But there's actual science that says... By the three and a half week mark, most people fail at their New Year's resolutions. There's even an honest to goodness thing called Fail Friday. About three weeks into the year, people start to wane a bit on their resolutions that they made. You started off well, you, start, you were going to the gym four times a week. And then by this third week, it's like, well, maybe I'm just gonna go twice this week. But these scientific studies have actually shown that around this third three and a half week mark, people stop going to the gym so often and fast food sales actually rise on that Friday. I swear, I didn't make that up. That is honest to goodness science. I'll put a link for it downstairs for you to find after. Anyways, that's why I didn't make resolutions for 2017. However, I do have some goals that I'd like to meet, but I started them a month or so ago, a couple of months ago, depending on the one. But over the course of this coming year is when I'm gonna make these goals happen. Sure, there's a few things that I'm starting around now in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to tell you all about it, don't worry. But these are not resolutions. This is just stuff I want to do in 2017. So what is it that I want to do in 2017? I want to get healthy. Like real, honest to God, healthy. And I'm not talking about just going to the gym a couple times a week. I want to get healthy both physically and mentally. So let me tell you how I got here. 2016 was not an awesome year for me. In February, I was on a snowboard trip with a couple of good buddies of mine. We had a great time, but on the second day, I took a really good spill and uh, bruised my rib. I don't know how people live after breaking a rib because I know the pain of just bruising one, and it is terrible. Anyways, that bruised rib kept me from being able to do real physical activity, like going to the gym, which I was doing before that, for the next couple of months. Then a bit later in the year, once my rib was finally starting to feel a bit better, I was feeling good, I started going back to the gym a little, I took a really stupid spill and I broke my wrist. And I broke it really badly. Like so badly, I had to get a piece of metal put in my arm to keep it together. Wanna see the scar? Look at that, I'm like Wolverine. On top of those injuries, I also quit smoking last year. Now, I don't know if you've ever quit smoking, but you tend to eat a little bit more and put on a few extra pounds. Yeah, let's stick with a few. A few sounds good. A few. Just a few. So, 2016 wasn't good for me physically. But 2016 also wasn't great for me mentally. I started off the year a little bit down, maybe depressed. I don't know, I wouldn't have ever told anybody about it back then, so I never went to a doctor and got diagnosed, but I'm going to call it minor depression. As well, there were some things making me unhappy at my job at the time, which of course resulted in me splitting ways with my company, which didn't leave me in a great mental state either. And then as you know, if you're watching my videos, 
after I left the job, I've been struggling to figure out what I want to do next. And I say struggle on purpose because it's really been a mental struggle to try and figure this out. And I'm not 100% sure I've still figured it out, but we're working on it. Anyways, all in all, 2016 wasn't my best year. It happens. But now I'm starting to work to make myself better, to make myself healthier, mentally and physically. I'm going to make some videos about all these things I'm trying to document the process um, of me getting healthier. But just a couple things off the top of my head I know I'm going to start doing is... I need to start eating better, and I'm not just talking about healthier foods, which I definitely need to do, but I also have a terrible habit of having my dinner at like 9, 10 o'clock at night, which apparently isn't good for you. I've already started to go back to the gym. I'm going to do a lot more around exercise. I have a couple of friends who do some personal training, who teach yoga. Um, hopefully, I'm going to get them on the show. We're going to talk about doing some of those things. And I'm going to work on being active more. I'm going to get back on my bike, which I couldn't ride with my broken arm last year. I used to meditate almost every morning, um, and I fell off the wagon somewhere. I'm getting back into that. I meditated this morning before I made this video. Yay! I've heard that one of the best things you can do for your mental health is surround yourself with the right people. So things I want to do is I want to spend more time with my friends. I want to meet more interesting people. I want to be around people who I respect and I admire and have them rub off on me. And maybe I'll rub off on them as well. In the good way, not the dirty way. Anyways, there's a whole bunch of other things I want to do. But they all focus around the general theme of being healthier this year. So that's what I want to do. And hopefully you're going to come along for the ride with me because I'm going to make videos about a whole bunch of these things as we go. So I want to know, what does 2017 hold for you? Let me know down below in the comments. Did you make a resolution? Do you have goals for this year? Is there something I can help you with? Can I make a video to help you with something? Let me know because something else I want to do this year is make this channel a whole lot better. And that just means doing things that you guys are going to really enjoy and you guys are going to like watching. So let me know what that is. So anyways, Happy New Year's everybody. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to me. Subscribe, subscribe. That way you're not going to miss any of my videos. Also, don't forget I'm all over the place in other social channels. So here's some of my favorites. Find me there. Um, let's be friends. And that's it for me right now. Um, stay tuned because next week I'm going to have my first video about something I'm doing to get healthy this year. Um, hopefully you're going to like it. Hopefully you're going to find it interesting. Anyways, we'll see you then. Peace. Yeah, there's no dog today. If you were holding out to the end of this video for a dog, sorry, we'll bring it back another day.